Hey guys, it's Crystal here at Kingdom, and today I want to talk about something that's probably a pretty unpopular opinion, but it's important to know the truth about things. So today's topic is about coffee, and that is, you know, the beloved drink here, and it is that ritual of that warm morning drink. So I understand the love for it, but um, did you know that coffee has more chemicals than most of the drinks and food that we consume? And actually nine out of um, 10 times that conventional coffee has been tested, it has, um, they have been, they have found mold in it, which, you know, is not fun to hear, but also chemicals and insecticides and um, fungicides and fertilizers and all of those things have also been found in mass produced coffee. And then coffee is also very acidic very acidic and it's usually the first thing that hits our stomach every morning it's the first thing that people drink it also taxes our liver and it decreases our immunity and it can even um, decrease the blood flow to our brain so of course it also affects our energy levels and our tired levels which i'll talk about here in a second um, but the very concentrated caffeine that is in coffee taxes our adrenals so much so people don't even realize you know how tired they are or how much energy they have when they're dependent on this amount of caffeine so a lot of um, well the majority of patients and family and friends that I've gotten off of coffee or switched to alternatives actually are shocked to see that they have more energy when they stop drinking coffee and caffeine actually is a poison that is produced by the plant to detract um, pests from consuming it so that that kick of energy that we think we're feeling is actually more of a fight or flight response from that poison. And it actually, the body will try to eliminate it. So a lot of people think that they drink coffee to keep their bowels regular or that, that that's a bonus side effect is that they have regular bowel movements when they drink coffee, but that's because the body is trying to eliminate that caffeine. Um, so with all of those things, like the acidity and the, 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 the mold and the concentrated caffeine, imagine drinking a moldy acidic drink like that every day, every morning for 20, 30, or even 40 years. Imagine what that can do to our stomach and to our adrenal glands and to our body in general. And, you know, I totally get it because personally, my husband and I used to drink organic coffee. We would grind it ourselves. We would put, you know, plant-based um, creamer in it and I loved it. It was delicious and it was just kind of like this little ritual that we had every morning, but my thyroid did not like it. It did not like the caffeine. And so we only drank it a few times a week, but I could tell that it was significantly impacting and causing inflammation. And so um, now I can't even hardly tolerate caffeine at all. But um, everybody's different really on how it impacts them. A lot of people just don't um, realize what it's doing because they drink it every morning. And also, by the way, um, decaffeinated coffee, decaffeinated teas, anything decaffeinated is done so by using formaldehyde. They decaffeinate things with formaldehyde. So that's not fun either, obviously, but there are better options. Like um, you can get Swiss water decaf or organic decaf where they use the Swiss water technique and formaldehyde's not used. So I do drink that sometimes, um, Swiss water decaf. I really like that. And there's also some other great options out there. Like, um, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, but Ticino or Ticino, um, that's one of my favorites. It's T-E-E-C-I-N-O, I believe. There's also um, a dandy blend. It's like dandelion, chic uh, chicory root. These herbs actually taste like coffee and they're good for you and medicinal, but they don't have those negative side effects of coffee. There's also mud water. There's just lots of other options. And for a person that absolutely doesn't want to come off of their coffee, um, then at least trying to switch to a alkaline, non-acid, organic coffee so that you're not getting so much mold and so many chemicals every day can be very helpful. And of course, you know, trying to use um, plant-based creamer if you use that or um, cutting back on sugar using honey instead of um, sugar or artificial sweeteners. So we will try to make a follow-up post um, discussing how to help you wean off of coffee if that is something that you want to do. So be on the lookout for that. And I hope that was helpful and I hope you guys have a great night.